Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Kate and I'm from Respiratory here at the hospital. Um, it looks like the doctor today ordered you to do some incentive spirometry. Um, it's mainly just a exercise that you can do every hour. Um, that's going to, it's lung expansion therapy, okay? You have some atelectasis in your lungs and what, what that is is the alveoli inside your lungs where the gas exchange happens. They're shriveled up. So what we want to do is expand them and help with your oxygen transport, okay? You'll start feeling a lot better. Um, it's really common with post-op patients, and so if we could just do these exercises, take about 10 minutes at the top of the hour, you'll be feeling a lot better quicker. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you. Um, I'll have, I have my IS here, but then we'll go ahead and take yours out, but it comes with a little pamphlet, and um, I already had and looked up your chart. All you need is um, your height and your age. So um, it says, are you are 64 inches, tall and you are 65 years old so um, your goal is going to be 2050 I'm going to set this little bevel here to what your goal will be so 2050 will be about right there okay so what we're going to go ahead and do is um, this is lung expansion with an inhalation so take a normal breath out, put your mouth on the mouthpiece, and then go ahead and take a nice, slow inhalation. Fill your lungs up as much as you can. We wanna keep it in between the best and the better. So it's not a quick breath, it's a slow breath. Um, but the most important part of this exercise is once you reach your capacity on that inhalation, we want you to hold your breath for at least five to 10 seconds. And that's where the expansion is really gonna happen. So it's a nice stretching of the lungs and getting, um, popping up those alveoli that we really need to happen to help you start feeling better, okay? So let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you. I'll go ahead and take a breath out and a slow breath in. It is quite a workout. It seems something very simple, but it, you do feel it quite a bit in your lungs. And especially for you after your operation, this is very common um, for patients to have. So, and it'll be, be very beneficial if you can do it every hour. I like to recommend just to do it at the top of the hour. So you're sitting here watching TV, commercial pops up, go ahead and do it during the commercials. You have any questions for me? Okay, thank you.